Shout it loud, hallelujah. Okay, hallelujah. Let's rise up on our feet, please. So close our eyes and sing this song loud and clear. You are the pillar of all my life. You are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Hallelujah. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. You are the pillar, you are the pillar that holds my life. The pillar, you are the pillar that holds my life. Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Hallelujah, Master Jesus, you are the pillar that holds my life. Loud and clear, you are the pillar. You are the pillar that holds my. Life. Pillar that holds my life, Master Jesus. You are the pillar that holds my life, Master Jesus. You are the pillar that holds my life. Ibu chuko ye di ma, ibu chuko ye di.
to pray here this morning. Even as this month is breaking to two already, let your voice roar like fire and like thunder. And believe the Lord for his touch upon your life here today. Say, I challenge you. Can you say that loud? Every long Arrow in my body. Can you issue the challenge again? Pack your load. Get out. This is not a joking prayer. It's a command, an order, a decree, an instruction. And as many as you say it from their hearts, they begin to notice something happening. I challenge every long time harrow in my body. Park your load. Get out. In the name of Jesus. Something is going on. Be released. Be released. 
be released from that arrow. The arrow in the head, the arrow in the eyes, the arrow in the body, be released, 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 be released. Long term arrows. Command them to pack their loads and to depart. Somebody is breaking through. Somebody is breaking through. name we pray you have made a decree let us wait for the manifestation long term arrow in the head the chest the womb in that right leg the backbone pack your load get out Pack your load. Get out. Pack your load. Get out. Plantation from the sea. Plantation from the waters. Plantation from the forest. Plantation from the altars of darkness. Pack your load. Go. Pack your load. Go. Pack your load. Go. Sapling. With a loud voice, Long, don't you say, I disconnect, I disconnect my joy from every evil altar in the name of Jesus. Disconnect it. Then we pray. As we pray this next prayer, if you have been noticing a get and lose spirit, you get, you lose, you get, you lose. Quickly find a way to this altar as we pray this next prayer. Make sure that your voice is the loudest here. Everybody will shout this loud and clear. Even if you don't think you have a project, shout it loud. My buried project, I command you in the name of Jesus, reappear in the name of Jesus. My buried project. I command you in the name of Jesus. Reappear, 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 reappear.
Thank you, Jesus. name we pray. Say power sir. Fighting my progress. You are a Lord. In the name of Jesus. Something is going on over there. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, blessings that money cannot buy. Somebody needs to shout this loud. Locate me now. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, 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 Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. The next three prayers should be prayed with fire and with power. Say every dream. Can you say that loud? Program to limit my life. Day. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Open your mouth. Then we pray. It's a power, sir. Assigned to rubbish my testimonies. Now somebody needs to shout loud. Your time is up. Day. In the name of Jesus. Don't negotiate. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus' name we pray. With the loudest voice you can gather. You will shout this name of Jesus. The Bible says it's the anointing that breaks the yoke. Say, yoke breaker! 
is now the largest you can shout is Jesus Christ break my yoke now in the name of Jesus Break my yoke now. Thank you, Jesus. See what is happening. See what is happening. Jesus, they will pray. Pick any song of praises in your own mouth and sing it loud and clear to the King of Kings and to the Lord of Lords. To Him who doeth great things, for His mercy endureth forever. For Him who remember us in our low estate, for His mercy endureth forever. What a mighty God we serve. Thank you, Jesus. Because you have always been our rock and our strength. Accept our thanks in the name of Jesus. Father, open the understanding of your people today in the name of Jesus. To you, Father, be the glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. And some of us sit as we take our Bibles, God bless you. A city without foundation. A city without foundation. In Hebrews chapter 11, we read this curious verse. Hebrews 11. See what it says in verse 10. Hebrews 11.10 For he looked for a city which hath foundations whose builder and maker is God. He looked for a city which have foundations whose builder 
and maker is God. In the same Hebrews chapter 13, verse 14, Hebrews 13, 14, it says this, for we have no continuous city, but we seek one to come. For we have no continuing city, but we seek one to come. Beloved, we are living in a city without foundation. The only city that has foundation is the city of our God. The current one we are living now in the world as it is. The Bible calls it a city without foundation. And that is the city we are living in. We are accumulating and accumulating, but accumulating into a pit. If your place of abode has no foundation, it will soon collapse. Human beings are putting the whole of their trust now on vanity. Vanity upon vanity, all is vanity. The men are running after vanity, the women are running after vanity, vanity upon vanity, all is vanity. Because the world is a city without foundation. It doesn't have any foundation. So because it's a city without foundation, as the Bible puts it, this whole world is sinking fast. Sinking fast. Look at these eternal words in the book of Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6 verse 19. Matthew 6, 19. It says this. Matthew chapter 6, verse 19. You will do well to listen to me carefully this morning. Matthew 6, 19. Lay not up for yourself treasures upon the earth. Where moth and rust doth corrupt, where thieves break through and steal, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. Where your treasure is, that's where your heart will be too. This is a very serious matter. Here in this world, friends fail you. Money becomes worthless. Metals rust. Garments wax old. Flowers fade. Beauty goes. Stones crumble. Gold and petroleum fades. Here in this world, treasures are stolen. Here in this world, very good men get corrupted with time. Here in this world, man gets a lot of disappointment. Here in this world, health fails. Here in this world, wealth disappears. Beloved, nothing lasts. Nothing. The Bible is very clear. So we brought nothing into this world. Nothing. And it is certain you take nothing out of it. No matter what you accumulate, you brought nothing into this world. 
and you are not going to go with anything. And the Bible says, the day of the Lord comes as a thief in the night in whom the heavens and earth shall melt away with fire. Say, what well, since you know that all these things will be melted by fire? No, all these who are running around, gather this, gather this, they are all raw materials for fire. Say, so what kind of person ought you to be in all holiness? Maximum you can live in, and maybe you live 120 years, you live 150 years, you live 200 years if you are even able to stand on your feet by that age. But eternity is longer. Here you have the opportunity to tell God that you are qualified for heaven. Wealth disappears. Why? We are living in a city without foundation. In this particular world, which the money of today may not carry you tomorrow, the most sure is absolutely unsure. Where sadness and joy they are lying on the same bed. Strife and peace are inside the same boat. War and peace, they are drinking from the same cup. This world where parental witchcraft hinder and eat up their own children. Where evil and good wear the same uniform. And the line between love and hatred is so very thin. Where even the man that is at the top is not too far from the bottom. The man being held today is not being stoned tomorrow. It's a serious matter. People fail to learn from history. This is a serious matter. This is a situation where you find a person who was pleading for people before him now is not being pleaded for. The judge will become the accused. The accused will become the judge. The thief will jail the thief. Robber will jail robbers. Fornicators will jail fornicators. This is a very, very serious situation. Where those who have been hailed as kings today, Kabir, Siran, Khaled, all of them. They, they, they end up being a prisoner. Men so seek to give fruit that they will not even like to eat. People shout praises loudly for somebody. But their hearts are far from the person. Why? We are living in a city without foundation. Man came from the dust. And as a matter of necessity, he must return to that dust. The Bible says, dust thou art. And unto the dust thou shalt return. Beautiful, beautiful things of the world. They came from the dust. And back to that dust, they must Go. This is a very serious matter. Every life, I say that again. Every life whose foundation is not in Christ, we collapse. The Bible says, other foundation can no man lay. Except that which is laid, which is Christ Jesus, and that the foundation of God standeth sure, and the Lord know those who are His. Let those that name the name of the Lord depart from iniquity. Why should a person want to sink with this sinking wall? 
where things are, things are changing, they are changing, they are changing like this. Where you think something is glorious today, tomorrow it becomes something else. The other time they rush a lady here for prayers. A former Miss Nigeria. But now, all of a sudden, she ran mad on the streets. They brought her for prayers. We prayed, 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 prayed before she could get herself a little bit. And I said, Do you? I told her, I said, Do you now see <laughs> that beauty is vain? Was that beauty able to deliver you now? This is a serious matter. Many people think that there is everything is in this world. No. The Bible says here we don't have a continuing city. No continuing city. Where we did, they used to, used to talk about oil boom, oil boom. Why is the oil boom? Now it's the time we have finance houses, finance houses. What are they doing now? There is a, a general convulsion of political people. It's a gradual community breakdown. Where is the old Russian Empire? Why is the old British Empire? Everything that will happen in the later days began from the last days. We are in the later days. Nothing, nothing is permanent. Nothing is permanent. Righteousness has diminished. Diminished. While I was in the University of Lagos many years back, vendors who sell newspapers, they don't stay by the newspapers. They don't put the newspapers down. You pick what you want to buy and you drop your money. Pick what you want to buy, you drop your money. Well, honest, righteous. Nobody needs to sit down and be watching what's going on. But now, if you, if, you, if, you, if you put your child beside the newspaper, there, they may still bought the newspaper and the child. In the 60s, or early 70s, a university degree is an, ass, is an access to good things of life. They even come to the campus and get you a job before you even graduate. And within six months, they give you a car. But now, people go to school, people travel abroad, get a master's degree, PhD, things have changed. They are roaming the streets. Things are changing. The things of yesterday cannot apply again today. In the late sixties, no one talks about arm robbery. No, nobody talks about arm robbery. This now it has become very popular. The kidnapping, the ritualism is terrible. Oh, you might think you have friends. <laughs> but those friends can disappear overnight. And even turn against you. Marriage may be your consolation. But even the rate at which marriages are breaking out is terribly alarming. The only person you can hold on to and you are sure you will not sink is Jesus Christ. No position is permanent. The most trusted can be the most dangerous. So what I'm telling you this morning is very simple. Give up what you can never gain. Give it up.
for what you can never lose. Give up all the running after the world things, worldly things to get what because you will lose it. You will lose it. When you die, your degrees are useless. The houses are useless. The cars are useless. Once that happens, totally useless. So give up those things that you is take occupying your time and try and get what you can eternally keep that you cannot lose. Set your affections on things above. All those things, beauty, all those things that men are running after, vain. Eventually, disappear. What you are going to hold is what you did with Jesus. Nobody will ask for a degree. Nobody will ask for a baptismal certificate. Nobody will ask whether you go to Bible college. Nobody will ask whether you are a general overseer. Or a superintendent or a pastor. The question is, what did you do with Jesus? Give up what you can never gain for what you can never lose. Why? Why? You are in a city without foundation. No foundation. It is sinking. It's, you can see it sinking. That, that's why you see the world. That's why you see the world going the way it's going. It's not. It has no foundation. It's sinking. Because the only city with foundation is the city of our God where we should aspire to go. And the Bible says something very interesting which many people don't think deeply about. So seek ye first. Seek ye first. The kingdom of heaven and its righteousness. Then all that things will be added unto you. But men have put the cart before the us. They are putting those other things at the front. They demote the kingdom of heaven. Whereas your priority is to find God. Find God. Find heaven. Don't just come to church for coming sick. Don't just come to church because you want a miracle. You want answered prayers. You want to have children. You want to marry. You want to have a job. They are, they are good. But those things end the air. You can't get them beyond this planet. What will last is eternity. Eternity. If you pick a single ant, ant, and tell the ant to be carrying a, bit, a little bit of sand from here to the Babich in Lagos. By the time that ant loads the place with sand, that is as tall as a three-story building. The time it will take the ant to walk from here to go to that babbage, to carry sand from here to the babbage, and begin to accumulate it to become a tall building. The time it will to take that ant. Eternity has just started. Give up. What you can never gain. What is temporal. What is not permanent. And grab that which you can never lose. Seek first that kingdom of God. So I'd like you to examine your heart this morning. 
Is your heart in heaven or on earth here? Whether you like it or not, hell is real. Heaven too is real. You need to strive for that city with foundation. Whose maker is God, the city of our God. That is what we should seek for. This year is started now. It's moving at a very fast rate. You need to prioritize your spiritual life. Spiritual, spiritual growth is no longer a luxury. It is crucial and important. Crucial and important. Can you really call yourself a Christian? Can you say you are born again? Can you really say that your heart is clean and holy like we are told in the morning? Can you really say? And if all of a sudden as we are here now, trumpet sounds, comfort, are you sure? You fly to meet Jesus in the sky. This is crucial, important thing. Secure your salvation. Secure the kingdom of heaven. All that things you are running after will just come by itself. Bow down your heads on yourself. Bow down your heads now. Well, you see, if you are here this morning, <laughs> you are not born again. You have not just surrendered your life to Jesus. I do so very quickly now. By rising up and finding your way to this altar, come and surrender your life to Jesus. Start from that simple place so that you can move with God in a new way in this year. So if you are here and say, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to Jesus. Find a way to this altar very quickly. Jesus is at the altar, I congratulate you. Take the most important decision in life. Right there where you are, bow down your head. Say what I'm going to say after me. So Father, in the name of Jesus, I come before you now. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Take control of my life. In Jesus' name. Amen. I'm going to pray with you now. Father, I thank you for your children here. Lay your hands upon their lives. Write their names in the book of life. In Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Jesus. Send down revival, Lord. Let it start with be my soul. Holy Ghost revival. Thank you. Cost of fire, send down revival, Lord. Let it start with me, my soul. Hallelujah, Holy Ghost revival. Mighty cost of fire, send down revival, send down revival, Lord. 
And you love yourself, you love your destiny. You are going to pray some of the most important prayers you can ever pray for your life now. Let your voices roar like thunder. If you love your destiny and you understand what you are saying today, that you need to go. You need to plan for the city with foundation. We are living in the one without foundation now, yeah? and it will sink. Can you shout this louder than anyone around you? Oh God! Make me your battle axe. In the name of Jesus. Tell the Lord to convert it to his battle axe. Then we pray. Paul said, We are not of those who go back into perdition. Can you raise up your voice and bind the spirit? Spirit of backsliding. I bind you and I cast you out. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and decree it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Say, Father, we thank you for your children that you have brought to this service. Continue to lay your hands upon them. Continue to anoint their lives. As you go into this week, it shall be well with you. The Lord will continue to bless your destiny. You go from strength to strength. Yeah, and from glory to glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Lord blesses you from Zion. Make his face to shine upon you. And be gracious unto you. You shall go from strength to strength. And from glory to glory. Father, all the prayer requests are answered them by fire. Let the writers become testifiers. In Jesus' name we pray. When we finish sharing the grace, please wait at the altar here. Don't go away. Let us share the grace in fellowship. Sure.
सब उगले रस आइलू जाले इसको